Hey, take a moment to slow down. You appear to be racing to some place. You don't want to get a speeding ticket and miss out on this delicious story. Did you know that the father of the famed Red Bull champion Max Verstappen is a convicted criminal not once, but twice? You'd be shocked at how many intriguing details there are about F1 drivers who have seen the four corners of a prison cell. Stick around as we reveal shocking facts about F1 drivers who are criminals. Adrian Suttle Despite being the son of a great artist and an exceptional pianist before entering the Formula One universe, Adrian Suttle chose to develop his popularity behind bars. You may be wondering what brought him there. Well, while driving with his feet, he punches others with his fists. However, it seems like he was more passionate about becoming an MMA star than an F1 driver. He was embroiled in an incident during the F1 Chinese GP during his final year with the club in 2011 when one of his former backers accused him of assault. Suttle allegedly smashed a champagne bottle rather than drink it and used the broken pieces to inflict bodily injury to Genai Capital CEO Eric Lux at a small nightclub in Shanghai. Lex then sued Suttle, which resulted in his conviction and an 18-month suspended prison sentence which also resulted in Suttle losing his seat and Force India. While this may shock you, the next driver will take your breath away. Bertrand Gasho Do you recall the classic Tyler Perry film A Fall from Grace? Bertrand Gasho, for example, would have been an excellent lead role in the film. Not that it's funny you know, but come on, acting? Not possible. Bertrand Gasho reached the top echelons of racing in 1989 with the newly founded Onyx team after years in minor categories, only to lose his position by the end of the year. The next season, he moved teams and raced for the Colony Squad, another disastrous outfit. Despite his lack of funds, the Frenchman was well regarded in the F1 paddock and was quickly signed up by Eddie Jordan for the 1991 season to ride for his newly created namesake team. Let's call this a rise to grace. Gasho's fortunes appeared to have improved as he managed to impress with his efforts. However, by mid-season, he was entangled in a criminal case that led to his incarceration, opening the door for one of the sport's most successful drivers, Michael Schumacher, to make his debut. We all know how that ended. In a prior year's incident involving road rage, Gasho was charged with assaulting a cab driver and possessing a prohibited weapon. Following an appeal, he was freed after completing the first two months of his sentence and returned to F1 in time for the Japanese GP. Who knows, perhaps he really was an inspiration for Tyler Perry while writing the film, we'll never know. Gasho has avoided further trouble today and is currently managing the business end of the race. Among his other business ventures, the ownership of an F1 website and the marketing of the energy drink hype. Even if he isn't a driver, he still has friends and business relationships in the Formula One world. He is also actively staying out of trouble. Guess the correctional facility that actually did some correcting on him. Okay, that's that with him. Let's go to the next driver, otherwise known as Boy Wonder. Jean Alessi This man is a legend for more than simply being a terrific driver. Racing for one of the biggest brands in F1, he's also famous for setting off fireworks all around him. For real, literally setting off fireworks. Jean Alessi raced for some of F1's greatest names between the late 1980s and the early 2000s. This includes a five-year stay at Scuderia Ferrari when he won his sole professional race. The Frenchman was noted for his volatile emotions and excellent vehicle control in the rain and was often regarded as an underrated driver. Alessi, his son Giuliano, and a friend were detained by French police after they put off a big firework purchased in Italy in front of an architecture office. Now, why will anyone even do that? Well, I guess when excitement overshadows reality, you would. Alessi later described the event as a prank that went wrong. He was detained by police for over 24 hours before being let go. But the former Ferrari driver wasn't overly depressed about his time behind bars. Later, he said that he'd spent the entire night having fun and chatting about Formula One with his caretakers. I guess jail time must have been fun time for this F1 legend. Now, moving on to the man you have all been waiting for, the father of the Red Bull legend. Jos Verstappen we all know how popular Max Verstappen is, shattering records and doing incredible things. But who knew you could achieve all of these incredible things while still being the son of a criminal? I guess the apple does fall far from the tree. Despite his evident skill, Verstappen was plagued by terrible luck, was progressively burdened with vehicles that hampered his ability. 
Despite this, he earned two podiums and 17 career points from 107 total race starts before departing from Motorsport Summit. Jos's achievements in motorsport were overshadowed by scandal. The Dutchman was accused of assault on many occasions after being accused of shattering a person's skull at a karting track two years earlier. He settled out of court in 2000. Seems like Jos Verstappen adopted the name of the infamous Thor's hammer and brought it to reality. Now, you might think he would have stopped there, but nope. This amazing driver stamped his feet on the throttle and kept speeding off while screaming rage. He was arrested eight years later for allegedly assaulting his then-wife, Sophie Kumpen. He was detained again for breaking a restraining order prohibiting him from going near Kumpen, earning him a three-month suspended sentence. He was charged with attempted murder against his former girlfriend in 2012, but the accusations were eventually withdrawn. Despite all of these complex legal issues, he did not get any more jail time after his first arrests. Additionally, he maintained his position on the squad despite the numerous off-course issues that troubled him during the most fruitful periods of his career. Guess he's one very sleek criminal. Now, while we're done with one amazing Formula One driver for crushing people's skulls, the next one on our list would have been an excellent cast of the Fast and Furious franchise if he didn't pick a career in Formula One. Despite being a Formula One driver, he's a pedal-to-the-metal advocate. At least, that's what got him in jail. JJ Leto JJ Leto was a Formula One racer beginning in 1989. The Onyx team was forced to dissolve due to financial issues, but the talented Leto got a ride with Scuderia Italia, where he lasted until the 1992 season. The beginning of this man's life was a little hard since he had to switch teams at some point, but that rocky period stated, nope, I'm not done yet. He hopped about a little after 1993 and got in an accident that hurt his neck and led him to miss a few races. He returned only to be involved in another disaster at the 1994 San Marino Grand Prix, which killed two other drivers. He was quickly replaced in the driver's seat and retired from Formula One. He enjoyed success in other series, including two victories in the 24 Hours of Le Mans. On June 17, 2010, Leto was involved in a boating accident in Rasapori, southern Finland, which killed his companion, a close friend. The boat was traveling at over 75 miles per hour in a zone under a bridge where the speed restriction was only 10 miles per hour. He was exceeding the ordinary speed limit by more than five times. What a way for a prospective Fast and Furious series member to depart. Although such drivers are skilled on land, operating on water requires different talents, which JJ Leto did not appear to have. Leto was under the influence of alcohol and was charged with a negligent homicide, reckless driving, and driving under the influence. He was then condemned to 28 months in prison on December 11, 2011. He successfully appealed his conviction and had all charges against him dropped in 2012. I'm sure your jaws are open and falling. I'm sure you're curious to also know just how many more of these once amazing drivers became convicted felons. Do you think we missed some of the drivers who have been involved in a crime? Comment below.